<laughs> when you think of NASA, you probably think of this. Astronauts on the moon, picking up some moon rocks. The moon is something that's so familiar to us in the night sky. But actually, most of the universe is completely invisible to us. Not only is most of the universe super, super far away, but actually our eyes are not attuned to the kind of light that is coming from the distant universe, such as in this image that is actually a translation of infrared light. But there's another way we can translate space data, and that is through sound. And so what you just heard is a data sonification. That means that my very talented colleagues took data from the James Webb Space Telescope uh, from that image and took it into the realm of sound. And it's this brand new experience. It's not just a beautiful piece of music, but it's also uh, bringing the universe to us in a new way. For people who are blind or low vision, it's another way for them to experience the universe as well. Um, behind me is the James Webb Space Telescope uh, that is delivering these incredible images and data. Um, black holes are cosmic objects that we can also appreciate through sound. Now, you might think that black holes are invisible. They are. However, they are so powerful that they are actually uh, heating up a lot of material around them, such as uh, in the Perseus galaxy cluster that you're seeing behind me. And the Chandra X-ray Observatory can uh, pick up the X-rays from this system, but also uh, there's actually pressure waves coming from it. So it's actually, in a way, sound. So this sound is actually scaled up to human hearing. Take a listen. I think it's pretty spooky. Um, the sun is another cosmic object that we can appreciate in new ways through sound. If you look at the sun, actually don't look at the sun unless you have special glasses, but if you did, I mean, it looks pretty boring, right, in our in our daytime sky, it looks pretty flat, but actually it's a very chaotic and violent place. Uh, it's superheated gas, lots of uh, explosions, particles, all these things. Uh, we can never send anything into the sun. However, we can listen to the sun. It actually is vibrating. And uh, this is essentially the heartbeat of the sun. meditative, I think. Um, Saturn is one of my favorite planets. The universe put some rings on it and uh, has incredible moons, uh, you know, a beautiful cosmic object. And uh, we also have amazing sound, Im uh, sound images and other data. Uh, listen to this. Um, it really does sound otherworldly. Um, and this is actually uh, a sort of a sound translation of radio emissions from Saturn. Uh, you'll notice at the pole of Saturn is sort of an equivalent of the southern and northern lights on Earth, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so uh, again, very talented uh, scientists and colleagues of mine made these uh, sonifications of that data. Uh, Mars is another favorite planet of mine. Uh, we actually have two rovers operating on Mars right now, Curiosity and Perseverance. Uh, Perseverance landed most recently, and it actually has two microphones on board. So that means for the very first time, we can hear Mars from the surface, and we can hear a Mars rover operating. Uh, you'll see the companion of Perseverance is the Ingenuity helicopter, which is the very first helicopter on another planet. Uh, these microphones are not only just amazing in general, but uh, engineers can use them to sort of test the health of the wheels of the rover, some of the instrumentation. Uh, let's listen to a drive on Mars. The wheels on the rover go round and round. And that is the sound of a laser hitting a rock. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> 
does not sound like that. <laughs> um, if you put on headphones, you will be able to appreciate these even more. My TLDR is check out our SoundCloud. Uh, NASA has incredible sound files, not only these, but dozens more. If you're making music, you can use them for free. I hope that they inspire you. My name is Liz Landau. I'm a science storyteller at NASA. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, too.